Hey everyone, my name is Nolan. Welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D Top 20 video. Um, today I just figured we would do the Top 20 Heavies. Um, just going forward, I just want to say, um, I don't really know how often I'll be able to put out videos as the second semester is going to be starting up. Um, however, I'm going to try to just put out a Top 20 once a week, and we'll aim for that, but we'll see. For more Top 20 videos, do not forget to subscribe. If you guys find this video helpful or just enjoy, I think you guys know what to do. Just just smash that like button. Also, guys, if you want to just go above and beyond to support the channel, go ahead and use my web store link down in the description to make purchases for in-game items. It would just greatly support the channel, like I said. All right, let's move on to the honorable mentions. And I'm going to start with Frozen Heart. And there's a very good reason why I'm starting with Frozen Heart and honorable mentions. This list is weird. I don't really know how I feel about it. It actually took me a while to, like, figure out what weapons I wanted to put on it. And let me just say, I started with, like, over 50 weapons to pick from and so the list could totally be rearranged and I understand it but these were just the picks that I went with and the reason why frozen heart is an honorable mentions is because every weapon except like three of them have a higher damage than it on this list and it has fixed delay and a slow fire rate and so for that reason I'm just like yeah it's good you can totally get kills with it you can spam with it um, but I would just per personally pick every other weapon on this list another weapon worth noting is heavy cone minigun this weapon is actually pretty dang useful because of the fact that it can heal you to max HP on reload which is pretty cool because it has a lot of ammo so you can do it basically as many times as you want so in duels and team strike and clan raids it's a very useful weapon Royal Ashbringer is also really good for movement what you guys will notice is I am just able to move around the map so fast but other than that it's not really good for getting kills um, and there's just better weapons on this list so yeah all right moving on to the actual list number 20 is gonna be fire starter already I know it's weird okay bear with me however fire starter was buffed recently if you guys don't know and now it does 167 damage at mythical however the gameplay in the background is legendary unfortunately um so i only was able to do 145 base damage but 160 dam 167 damage is a little bit on the higher side as far as damage goes so you can actually get pretty dang good gameplay especially because it has a pretty decent reload time and ammo you can get some pretty good gameplay number 19 is going to be c4 basket and i believe this is the only cluster bomb weapon on the list i know you guys are probably wondering why christmas ultimatum won't be on here christmas ultimatum i believe only does 120 damage there are three weapons on this list that don't do at least 160 damage every other weapon on the list does at least 160 damage c4 basket included so basically cluster bomb weapons are just not worth including because they're just not that good as far as heavy goes especially for three cat there are going to be some three cat heavies on this list we're going to get into streaming beast is going to be number 18 this thing is actually pretty dang good i was actually even debating it putting on the list however when i went to use it i was actually pretty impressed i think you guys could get pretty good gameplay if you use this weapon the only downside, again, with all stream beam weapons is just range. Uh, you kind of have to be in close range maps if you want to get good gameplay. And so for that reason, I put it lower on the list. Kitten Cutie is going to be number 17 with a base damage of 164. This is also going to be somewhat on the higher side for damage. The major downside with this weapon is its ammo. You're going to be running out of ammo pretty dang fast. However, because this weapon is going to always be a two shot with that damage, and it's high AoE, you are able to get a pretty good amount of kills. So I did feel like it deserved to be on the list. Demolition Exoskeleton is going to be number 16. This weapon isn't that great for getting kills. It does 163 damage, which is really good actually. But the problem is, is it shoots that 163 damage in six shots. So you have to hit every shot in order to max out your damage. Um, the reason why I put it on the list though, is because it's good for rocket jumping and for three cat. Um, those are the two main reasons I put it on the list. You can also get it for coupons if you want. Anniversary Big Buddy is going to be number 15. This weapon used to be better than it is, but it's been nerfed, so it's not really that great anymore. 160 damage is enough to one-shot some people, but most of the time, I wasn't one-shotting. Actually, I believe that 160 damage with level X mods is a one-shot, but I did not use level X mods. I used level 7, I believe. Um, just because I want to find a middle ground for everyone viewing these videos. Number 14 is going to be Bomber Cat. Uh, even though this has the lowest damage on the list of 144, it's still pretty good because of its very high fire rate and no delay making it useful for 3 cap. Um, so it's basically just a very well-rounded heavy. Um, 144 is still enough to 2-shot 
ultimate defense armor every time without modules and so a lot of these weapons on the list are two shot anyways so i figured might as well put it on there event horizon is going to be number 13 some of you guys might be kind of disappointed to see it so low however when i went to actually use this weapon it didn't perform that great um, I was having a hard time hitting direct shots, and basically you need to hit direct shots with this weapon. If you do hit a direct shot, you will one shot every time, because this weapon has a higher base damage than ultimatum, clocking in at 234. But if you're going to rely on the plasma rockets, don't rely on getting kills then, because you're only going to be doing about 70 damage with those plasma rockets. So, not that great, but still pretty good. The next weapon, Offensive Fireworks, has the second highest damage on the list. The first was Event Horizon. This one is second, and you guys may be wondering why it's so low. Well, even though it does 189 damage, it splits that amongst three rockets, meaning you have to hit all three rockets in order to one-shot, which, I mean, 189 damage, yes, is definitely enough to one-shot with probably even level 7 modules. But the problem with that is, it's just very hard to do. Like, when I was playing even in Classic Pool, which is a close-range map, I wasn't one-shotting nearly as much as I was expecting to. Even though it has 38 burning damage, I was just... I, I was disappointed, honestly. So even though, yes, this weapon is actually pretty dang good, it was just not nearly as good as I was expecting it to be. And you guys need to know this, I rank these weapons based off of performance, not just raw damage or anything like that. And so overall, the performance wasn't that great. <laughs> Speaking of weapons that are good performance-wise, Cole Frightener. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might hate me for putting this on the list because its base damage is only 145. However, it inflicts the it inflicts the cursed debuff, which makes it a guaranteed two shot every time. So your gameplay is actually going to be pretty great. Uh, not only can you two shot everyone with this heavy, but you can rocket jump. Um, so I get really good gameplay when using this weapon with, for spamming. Um, it has a pretty decent AOE all around. I just think it's a pretty well rounded heavy. And definitely deserves to be on the list. Number 10 is going to be PGA TV. It's a consecutive explosion weapon that can one shot sometimes, two shot most of the time. And so if you guys like dual scamming, it's a pretty good weapon for that. However, guys, in my personal opinion, now that Ice Club was buffed, I'd say it's definitely better than PGA TV. It has a faster fire rate, I believe. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. But I do believe it has a faster fire rate. Um, the only downside, though, uh, compared to PGA TV is Ice Club has a shoot delay. Uh, which basically means when you tap the fire button, it actually takes some time for the weapon to charge up and shoot. Um, so basically, you guys could interchange PGA TV and Ice Club. However, both of them are going to be a two-shot. Um, both of them are consecutive explosion. So really, it just comes down to personal preference. I personally would use Ice Club because if I'm using a consecutive explosion heavy, I'm spamming with it. I'm only using the heavy. And so for that reason, I just feel like Ice Club is better. Number 8 is Deadly Beat. This weapon is very good for 3 cap because of its very high damage and no fixed delay. Unlike Anniversary Big Buddy, this weapon, no fixed delay. It also does one singular more damage <laughs> than Anniversary Big Buddy. Clocking in at 161. I don't know why I say clocking in because it's damage, not time. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of dumb like that. But yeah, this thing is just a beast. It does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, though, it's been nerfed, so it's going to be a bit lower on the list. Number seven is going to be Atomic Splitter. You guys might hate me, again, for putting this on the list, but its base damage is 161, which, again, is just kind of on the higher end. Not really, actually, but it's it's higher than some of the other weapons we talked about. Um, on top of that, it has Super Punch, which clocks in, again, I don't know why I said that, at 290, which is enough to just one-shot anyone no matter what. So, yeah. This thing is a beast. It's really good for spamming. Um, however, <laughs> we're going to get into some better ones. Iceball Generator is just another one that I seem to get really good gameplay with. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the high AoE or high hitbox making it easy to hit people. Um, also, since its base damage is 170, I find myself one-shotting way more frequently than other weapons. So this weapon, I just get really good gameplay with. However, unlike Iceball Generator, Destruction system does not have fixed delay, and so for that reason, I put it a little bit higher. Just because you can use it with 3-cat, it's just easier to use, it has a scope if for some reason you need that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, again, just based on gameplay, I feel like this will get you better gameplay. Spiky Mortar has the third highest damage on this list, coming in at 176 direct shot, which is insane. 
The contact damage for the mines, I believe, is like 140-something, which is still incredibly out of this world as far as sticky mines go. So basically, you're going to get some pretty pretty good gameplay when spamming this weapon, um, just because it does so much damage. Especially if you have level X mods, you're going to be one-shotting like everyone with this thing. Alright, I'm going to pause on this one. Number three, dislike. Alright, I don't know if like a lot of you guys have just quit or if you just are sleeping on this weapon, but Dislike is still one of the best heavies in the game by far. It has 164 base damage, which is somewhat on the higher end for this list, but it also hits headshot damage for 230, meaning you can one-shot headshot people with this thing, which is insane. On top of that, it has a high fire rate, you can rocket jump with it, it has ammo and lifesteal, making it useful for lots of certain circumstances, so this thing is still a beast, and I don't know why people don't use it, because it's still so good. If you guys like using Deadly Beat or Anniversary Big Buddy for damage, or even Destruction System, this thing does more damage, so I don't know why I don't see it used more. Number 2 is going to be Pixel Cola Refresher. Tied with Bomber Cat, this thing has the lowest damage on the list at 144, however, this thing is still super good, not because you can get kills with it, yes it is good for getting kills, but it is just the best movement heavy in the game in my opinion, because of the fact that it has acceleration after killing, your movement speed is going to be insane if you can get a kill, but it also has super rocket jump, a fast fire rate, lots of ammo, even though it has a delay animation, it actually has no delay, um, so it's just very good for pretty much any loadout you need. It's very well rounded, it goes with everything, it's good for movement, so it's just a very good heavy. However guys, I know you guys probably all saw this coming, Invincible Line just takes the trophy by a mile. Its base damage is 163, its super punch body shot is 228, it hits headshot damage just in case you guys care, and its headshot damage is 326, but that's not all. It's super punch headshot dam- no no no, I I'm sorry, I got this kind of wrong. Um, it's super punch body is 228, it's headshot is 326, it's super punch headshot damage is 456 freaking damage to a single shot. That is insane. That is a guaranteed one shot no matter what, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, so this thing gets so much freaking damage per second. If you spam with it, you're going to get really good gameplay. But not only is it good for killing people, but because its damage is so incredibly high, it's also good in clan raids, monster raids. It's good in a lot of events that Pixel Gun has put on where you have to fight against monsters because it just does so much damage damage it's just so incredibly good and even though it does so much damage the developers decided to buff it its original base damage i believe was 150 and then they buffed it to 163 i don't know what possessed them to do that but they did it and just solidified its spot in the top one position even though the rest of this list could probably be rearranged i am going to say that this weapon is just like by far the best heavy in the game it's so good and yes, you can rocket jump with it in case you're wondering. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up the video there. I didn't want this video to be kind of long, but it is kind of long. So thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace!